सेवन सिक्स फाइव फोर थ्री टू वन जीरो India is literally touching new heights. India's first mission to moon Chandrayaan-1 was successful. And this mission achieved some undiscovered facts about the moon. And in order to discover some more facts, India sent Chandrayaan-2 to the moon. First time uh, the scientists have uh, uh, launched with all so many complex uh, technologies they have used and they succeeded. That is historical according to them. India is the fourth country after USA, USSR and China to send spacecraft to moon but the first country to perform a soft landing near the south pole of the moon. All our hard work had paid dividends in that day when once we say that we could receive the first signal from Chandrayaan on day on dot at the set time from our facility was something wonderful for me. The side of the moon is undiscovered and there are great chances of water availability over there. The southern pole region of the moon has not received sunlight for billions of years. That increases the possibility of finding water under the surface of the moon, which is the main goal of the mission Chandrayaan-2. This mission to south pole of the moon is important because through this mission astronauts will be able to travel to the moon in future to establish a permanent colony. And the water discovered can be used for drinking, growing crops and as a rocket fuel. NASA in 2024 will be sending human beings to the moon to establish a permanent colony on the moon. 21st July 1969 was an historic day. It was a date on which Neil Armstrong landed on the surface of the moon. 22nd July 2019 became an historic date in Indian history when we, when we sent Chandrayaan to the south pole of the moon. We all know that Chandrayaan is a mission for discovering majorly for discovering water on the surface of moon. But the major question that arises here is is it really possible to have water on the surface of the moon? See the sun's temperature directly falls on the moon's surface. When the sun's temperature falls on the moon's surface, the temperature can go up to 125 degrees Celsius then obviously the water on the surface of the moon will get what vaporized or volatile and it will move up upwards since there is no atmosphere to the moon the water will move into the space as water vapors then how it is possible for chandrayaan to explore water on the moon there are some regions on the moon where the sunlight doesn't fall on those regions the temperature can fall below fall below minus 173 degrees celsius or near around 17 minus 173 degrees celsius there water can exist in form of ice so chandrayaan 2 majorly is planning to explore those areas from late part of 1960s scientists have been saying that what ice water or solid ice exist on craters which are covered with shadows and once the craters are covered with shadows their sunlight doesn't reach this is what scientists have been saying and chandrayaan 2 is going to explore those craters to find out solid ice nasa had a mission in 2013 lunar reconnaissance orbiter which discovered a crater called as shackleton crater and it was very much closer to that crater where chandrayaan 1 landed and this shackleton crater is near south pole lro lunar reconnaissance orbiter of nasa found out that there are 20, there is a chance of 22% of ice on these craters near the south pole 
why in Chandrayaan 2 the South Pole is considered as destination or why we are planning to launch South Chandrayaan 2 at the South Pole the major reason is the sunlight doesn't reach there directly like as in North Pole the temperature at the South Pole is approximately minus two, 250 degrees Celsius so there is a higher chance of solid ice being present there talking about Chandrayaan 1 and lunar recon science orbiter of NASA both were orbiter missions that means this will not directly land onto the surface of the moon but will study the moon surface by orbiting around the moon whereas Chandrayaan 2 will be the first mission where the probe will be done exactly on the surface of the moon the mission has had three parts orbiter lander and rover as you know the lander is Vikram and the rover is Pragyan it's a six-wheeled rover actually the mission was approved in year 2008 and to, in 2009 by end of 2009 the aircraft design was ready and Russian Space Agency was to handle the design of the lander but after even after the repeated delays ISRO kept on waiting and finally in 2013 and ISRO decided that they will make the rover lander by themselves what is the aim of the mission the major aim of the mission is to find the minerals on the moon to study the topography how the moon surface is and to study on what amount or in what quantity water can be extracted from the moon what we will get after analysis in the mission like we will able to study how the moon has evolved our solar system has evolved the major important factor is by the end of 2024 many country has been like even USA their space agency NASA has been planning to create a permanent settlement colony on the moon so if we find water content there it can be used as for growing crops as a fuel in rocket because in rocket fuel the combination of hydrogen and oxygen is there and water can be used as a rocket fuel combination for crops and even as a drinking water why the world is looking into the Chandrayaan mission see there has been many mission that has been sent by various countries across the globe but why Chandrayaan 2 is very special because the entire cost of the mission is 978 crore rupees that sums up to be 141 million 141 million dollar even the Apollo Apollo 11 that was sent by USA way back in 69 it was much costlier NASA's lunar recon science orbiter mission in 2013 was around 500 million dollars which is five times more than what Chandrayaan mission need has spent on it in this mission slingshot maneuver has been used that is why the mission is taking 48 days to reach on the moon while if you talk about Apollo 11 it reached in four days that is 75 hours six minutes then why our Chandrayaan 2 is taking 48 days because it will first orbit the earth around its orbit and then the, at, certain, at certain juncture the engine will be propagated or the engine will be fired up again which will switch into the next orbit in a similar way at a stage the moon's gravitational pull will capture the Chandrayaan 2 in its orbit which will see which is a fuel efficient or fuel saving process